So I absolutely love Theme Park Builders, and Parkitect has now just been released in pre-alpha, let's go ahead and check it out. So at this stage of the game, there's only a sandbox mode, which is actually perfect for me because I only like to play these games in the sandbox mode. So I have no limitations, only the starting money, and we are given 10,000. Uh, and this is actually a very interesting scenario that I just loaded up because it's the first time I'd ever seen we we start off in rain. That That is pretty cool. So hopefully we get to do something fun with that. Too bad I don't have like a, a park down already because at this point, you know what I would do. I'd throw down an umbrella store and we put that stuff for like $10 an umbrella. You know, something really ridiculous price because you know they're going to have to pay for it. They got to pay for it. They don't want to mess up their hair or their clothes or the souvenirs or, you know, we have to make sure that maybe we have a cotton candy stand so that people are ruining their cotton candy unless they're going to fork up like 25 bucks for a a, a you know a bad umbrella but anyways that's we'll definitely get to explore a little bit of that but for now the game like I said it's in pre-alpha so it, it is pretty uh it is pretty bare bone but I gotta say it really excites me to just to think of the possibilities of where this is going to go um and, and honestly it's 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 enough there's so is, there's enough there to really get you kind of going and to kind of see exactly uh, the vision that I'm sure that the developers have here. So we're going to be exploring some things. Um, there is terraforming. I don't think I'm going to explore that too much. Um, that is a very, I mean, that's a pretty in-depth feature that they already have implemented into the game. Uh, but let's just go ahead and try to get this theme park off the ground. I don't even know if it's going to get off the ground. It might be a massive disaster. Who knows? But uh, for like for now, let's go ahead and set this up and try to get our, our at least our, our front end looking a little bit better I'm thinking I like a pretty nice like wider uh, front entrance so this is pretty much where I'm gonna put all my shops and my food and my toilets and information centers and stuff like that uh, pretty basic stuff I guess we'll go three I think we'll do something like that. Yeah, that, that's fine. And let's throw down some shops. So uh, I am given 10,000, and we'll go over some of the things that uh, kind of the game introduces to new players and stuff like that. Uh, but for now, we, we need food. We need people to come in, and they need to be able to eat, and they need some basic uh, things. So here are all the shops. Uh, we have a vending machine. We have umbrellas, which is what I was talking about. And you know what? We should probably just throw that thing down right now because it's raining. So when people come in, they might want to buy something. Um, putting it near the entrance probably, I guess, is an okay idea. Uh, again, we we don't need to worry about it. I mean, if I'm if I'm rolling in the dough at any point, I can change up uh, the kind of organization that I have going on currently. But uh, for now, I guess we'll put it by the entrance. That's fine. So yeah, we'll put umbrellas there. Uh, you'll notice a little icon that popped up. That that's that's showing that we have a lack of material, and we'll go over that a little bit later of what you need to do to make sure that the umbrella store gets the material for the umbrella. Um, so vending machine, I think I, I might skip over, but we'll see definitely an info kiosk. Uh, let's do that maybe on the opposite side, and let's definitely put a toilet somewhere near here also. Um, let's see, there we go, bam. Okay, and I'm gonna put some space in between. Actually, should I put the toilets over on the side? I mean, toilets get pretty gross and nasty and, and smelly and stuff like that. Maybe it would be a good idea to not put it directly in the front entrance. Maybe I should like make a little side view. Uh, I can rotate the shops through pressing the space bar. Yeah, I mean, I could put it over here, but then yeah, it's going to mess up my, my thing. Okay, you know, I'm not going to put toilets just yet. Let's put souvenirs. A lot of things, I might I might be doing a little bit too much of things that I don't absolutely need. Soft drinks for sure I need. People need to be able to drink something. And then uh, probably just one burger stand for now. And like I said, I'm going to put some space in between so that, you know, people have places to sit down and we can put, you know, make little fancy stuff because there's there's decoration that we can throw up. There's there's We can throw up some trees and some plants and some beautiful little flowers. Uh, beauty is not like an aspect of the game yet. I'm sure it might be. But right now, or it might in the future, it might come into play. But for right now, it, it's not. Your uh, your 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 people will not care about how beautiful it is. I I can almost guarantee that that will probably be a feature sometime in the future, probably out of alpha, maybe into beta, something like that. Uh, so you might notice that there is this. There's some little you know boxes starting to fill out right here. Uh, that is the material, and this is this is like the storage place. Now, right now, the storage place is in the front entrance, but I believe in the future they're going to be able to let you guys choose exactly where you want the material to land. So instead of maybe being in the front, if 
you have a huge park and actually uh, this is a perfect time to show you the map mode here where we can look directly from the top down uh, you can maybe put if you have like a huge park and it's like you know somewhere all the way out here you wouldn't want you know your employees to go all the way in the front to pick it up and then all the way back here uh, I believe you'll be able to choose the exact spot where you'd like the material to be dropped off at uh, I think so anyways let's exit this map mode uh, now in order to and we can go here we can this is how we can uh, kind of shift around the camera angles but uh, there is also if I am not mistaken a yeah we can just boom right there um, okay so let me let me show you how you can get the material to these shops we have to hire a few guys uh, now there are janitors there are workmen there are mechanics there are security and of course there are entertainers uh, so for now let's just do one Let's just do work, one workman. Uh, these wages really add up, so I'm going to be very careful with how much staff I build up in the very beginning at least. Uh, I, I want to be careful of that. And hopefully, and, and you know, I should probably just start pressing play now, at least at, at least on, on speed one. There are three different speeds in this game. Um, let's do speed one. And also, something I really like to do is make sure that it's free to come inside. We have no rides, so yeah, just come on inside. Everything else is, is uh, going on. Another thing that I like to do is something that I've noticed so far in the initial release to this game is it seems like the food and the drinks are a little bit under, uh, what's the, that you could ask for, whoa, 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 I did not hire that many, why are there uh, multiple blue guys coming in? Well, I don't know why, but we are going to find out, or maybe those are, who are you? Shopkeeper. Oh, you're shopkeepers. Oh, oh, that's awesome. I didn't know that. I didn't notice that. Okay, so I didn't even realize we have shopkeepers. That's awesome. And this is the actual uh, workman that we just hired. He's bringing the material over towards the. Uh, this is ketchup that the hot a hot dog stand needs. Uh, and you can check on you know his resources. Of course, you can check on his thoughts. You can check on uh, his stats. So right now, uh, for your staff, there's no way to get their hunger or thirst down. But that's something that they're going to. Uh, definitely fixed in the future but for now you're going to see the hunger and thirst categories rise up to all the way to the point of red it's fine they're still going to do their job but uh but yeah he's going to be a little bit angry he's still going to do his stuff though so that's fine uh, so like i was saying uh where was i at oh yeah let's go ahead and increase the prices here like that's what i'm thinking i mean if if the entrance fee is free then I've noticed that food seems to be, people always kind of are happy that the food seems like to be a good value uh, because you can check on the thoughts of, of whatever it is, whether, whether it be a roller coaster, which we haven't even jumped into. And yes, everything, all the roller coasters are customizable. Actually, they have to be. There are no preset roller coasters, which I like because that forces you to be a good theme park operator. So I love that. Uh, but yeah, there's a satisfaction rating and you can see exactly what um, your guests feel about every shop and every ride and every roller coaster, everything. So yeah, you Usually people are feeling like the food is is of good value. And I'm like, no, 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 no. This is a theme park. What are you talking about? This No, we're making this expensive. So um, we can uh, – oh, this is actually a souvenir shop. Let's go ahead and – I don't exactly know. Maybe maybe the souvenirs might be not – maybe not overpriced, but I guess I will. Uh, sombreros. People can get some sombreros, which is pretty cool. You'll see the guests kind of walk around with some sombreros on. Right now we have no rides, so there are nobody kind of coming in. We've got zero people. Uh, a little bit scary, but nah, I'm not worried about it. It's going to be okay. Sunglasses? I don't think so. I'm talking about $3 for sunglasses. And right now, uh, I, this is something I should be doing right here. Seven bucks. Now that we'll see. I know people are going to be pretty mad at that, but man, I I love it. I've got to do it. And if you want a map, you need you need to pay two dollars. All right. So I'm already raising the prices pretty high. Uh, I think I did skip out here on soft drinks, but I don't want to raise that up too much because people actually do need to drink. Uh, finally, let's go ahead and throw down some benches because people love to sit down and eat and all this other things. They will get tired. Uh, so let's maybe throw down a bench here. Throw down a bench here. Oh, we have two guests so far. Okay, good. So people came to visit our little shop. I mean, it's free. Uh, so why not just come in and see what kind of shops we have and stuff like that? Uh, I do love the hedges. You, we can throw down some uh, trees and, and some hedges. I will uh, do that at some point, but not yet. I, 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 I try to, I'm trying to be as conservative with my money as possible. I don't want to throw down something that I don't absolutely need. Benches are something that I absolutely need. Um, Actually, you know what I, I do need is uh, I need I need trash bins. It's very important. Uh, and I might want to maybe even take away, do something like that. Aha. Yes, I like it. Okay, there we go. So we'll throw one trash bin here. 
maybe the other one over here, maybe right at the entrance, and then we'll eventually throw down some trees to make that look more beautified, I guess you could say. I'm making my I'm making my own words up now. Uh, but right for right now, like I said, it's it's fine. We're gonna we're gonna do only the absolute essentials so far. So I think this is a good pre pretty good start for now. Uh, it's a bare bones start, and that's fine. But we kind of needed to start somewhere. Uh, so now let's continue to expand out the roads and let's let's throw down some rides. Now. I, I don't ever like to just jump into roller coasters. I'm not sure exactly how the game is geared towards. I feel like we shouldn't just jump into making a roller coaster. I do like a thrill ride to, to start off, but maybe we will... Usually I like to build multiple thr thrill rides. Uh, thrill, thrill rides. I don't know why I can't say that. Um, but we'll see. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll do something like this, and then we'll have like out this way, here and here. Okay, yeah, this will be one area, and then I'll do the same thing over this way. Maybe, bam, bam, whoops, that went out a little bit too far, but that's okay. That's okay. Hey, it's interesting design, right? As you can see, the workmen take a very long time to get the materials to these shops, so uh, yes, that is happening. And one thing also I can do, and I didn't mention, is that I can lower the amount of material needed, which means that we're going to spend less to, to, for the upkeep on the shop. So I like to do that because it usually it does cost a lot, and I'd rather you know have them pay a lot and then not you know make the best quality of food because <laughs> we're going to run it like a traditional theme park. You guys know how it is. You guys exactly know how that, that, that feeling is. Okay, so um, carousels. So here are the theme, kind of the thrill rides, or you know, I don't technically, I don't think they're, I don't believe they're called thrill rides technically in Park Attack. They're called flat rides. But uh, let's go ahead and throw a few down. Uh, there are a few that I know that I think that people think that the wings, the the wave swing swinger is boring. Uh, so I'd rather do the transformer. People love. It's expensive, but people really like it. Actually, you know what? The top. Let's do the topple tower. It's cheap. It's only eight hundred. Let's do that. It's pretty massive too. So maybe people will see it and like, whoa, I want to go do that ride or whatever. Um, I guess we'll kind of off-center it here because it's so big that it doesn't really work with our setup that we have. But that's fine. Uh, and I always like to make sure that there's enough room so that we can put a queue. My queues have got to be straight. You guys have no idea. My, my queues have got to be looking good. That's so important to me. I, I, it's, got, it's got to be looking good. Um, so we'll put that there. Okay, again, it's going to be off-centered, and that, that's just something that we need to be okay with. Now, at any point, we can change the color. We can go in here, and there's a little color value thing that we can change, uh, and that'll change right away. Oh, I have to click on it first. And uh, Well, I can, I, I can do the same thing with the, with the rides, too. Let's exit out of this window, and uh, we have to actually open it. That would be a smart idea. So, yeah, we can change these colors if we want to. Uh, everything is kind of customizable if we felt like it. I guess red and, yeah, that's kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, don't usually change the colors too much. It does take it does take some time. And I feel I'm feeling a little lazy sometimes. Okay, so there we go. There's our first little ride. Uh, no one's visited just yet. We only have four guests. Uh, and and so this value here, it looks like we're losing now. This negative one thousand uh, dollars that that is coming from also construction costs. That's I'm not making a net. Uh, I'm not like in a deficit right now. I'm not like having to upkeep all this money that I'm having to pay a thousand. This is just showing me the exact amount of money I've spent in the month of February. Uh, it's year zero February. Uh, so it's, I, at first I was worried. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm losing $1,000 a month. No, it's just showing me exactly how much money I've lost for just this month. Uh, we can look at the construction cost of, of, I mean, we just threw down a new ride. Obviously we're gonna lose a lot of money in the very beginning. So we're gonna see a lot of red at first. Um, and the shops are probably going to be in a deficit too. Yes, look at, they were, they were for January because no one was coming. So we have to get people inside fast. Um, the reason why I wanted to press play though is I wanted to get that staff working on bringing in the materials. Uh, I, I, I may be considering hiring. I should probably hire one more. Let's go ahead and hire one more. And uh, as I said, he's not going to be too happy with uh, hunger and thirst. He's getting tired because he's doing a lot of work right now. But I think once we hire one more workman, we should be fine. Okay, so I think this is a good time to maybe bust out with a roller coaster because we, we might as well show off everything that we, as much as we can. I mean, we're not going to get to everything within this episode, but uh, we can kind of start a roller coaster here. So again, like I said, every roller coaster is, is there's no preset yet. And I like that. I, I really like that. I know that's probably not the developers are probably not going to uh, keep that, but I like that idea that you have to build your coasters. You can't just throw one down. Because I always felt like in the in previous games of like in previous like theme park builder games like this, uh, I just felt like cheating when I was throwing down you know preset roller coasters. Now you can build a roller coaster uh, and and kind of save it as a blueprint and use it for another save. Or I'm sure there's you can, there's sure there's places online that you can do the same thing. Um, 
But I like that you have to, you know, I, I do like the idea of building your coaster. So let's go ahead and go with the wooden coaster. But then again, I don't know, because those things are pretty dang expensive. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should go for one of these little wild mouse rides or something like that. Uh, still coaster is going to be probably pretty expensive too. Log ride. Everyone loves log rides. Let's go with the wild mouse. It's, let's just do something basic for now. Let's just do something simple and, and clean and stuff like that. Okay, but I am going to switch around this view here. Uh, actually, you know, we'll kind of go... We'll kind of go here like this directly there. Okay, so if I put it, now we need to make sure the station is big enough. It doesn't have to be that big. So we're gonna go there. Let's build a few more stations. Make sure it's big enough to, I don't know how long the queue's gonna be. I, I probably also am gonna have to erase. This is gonna be a pretty big station. That was probably a little bit bigger than it needed to be. But then if there's only a few carts here, look, they can only hold like, you know, four guests at a time. So maybe maybe a big station is not a terrible idea. Okay, so let's build up a lift. We have to get these people to, uh, we, we, gotta, we gotta bring them up on top. So let's go ahead and start to carry them up. Now we can't go, can we go directly? Oh yeah, we can. So every every different coaster you build is gonna have different sort of uh, requirements to build. I know for the wooden roller coaster, you can't go this radically you know, uh, vertical with a lift, a lifted coaster like this. So, but we can, I guess, with this, this mouse coaster. Okay, so let's make sure that we do that. Uh, we will build it up from there. I don't think I am missing anything. Yeah, there's the lift right there. So let's try to make sure that we save a little bit of money. I'd like to not be in a deficit by my first. I, 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 I tend to go a little bit too crazy with my first coaster. So I, I should probably not do that. Um, and we also have different little kind of map modes for uh, when we're done, when we're done testing this out and everything. We've got G-Force, airtime, velocity, stuff like that. So that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, we also have timer and height marks. Let's probably turn that on, actually. Um, uh, I'm not sure how to turn that on yet. Maybe we have to wait till it's done. I'm thinking. Okay, maybe maybe we should maybe we should limit it to just that. Should we go any bigger than this? Oh, we can't. Oh, 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 that's it. Okay, good. Okay, that's good because I was I probably would have. So let's make sure that we come down. Uh, I don't think that we probably will still need it to be lifted, uh, which is going to cost us a little bit more money, I think, to continue that. But let's go ahead and have a double back around. I don't want this to be like a massive coaster or anything like that. Uh, something, yeah, because they, they do like, I know these little rides, they, they do like some sharp 90 degree turns. Uh, too bad I can't take it a little bit higher, though. I would like it to go higher, but I just, I can't. Can I go like this? Nope. Okay, we'll go down. That's fine. That's fine. I won't question it anymore. Let's stop that. And uh, should we go something sharp? Yes, definitely. Okay, let's have it go straight down from here and hopefully kind of get a running start. Okay, so I guess we'll go down to the bottom. Now, it's very easy to build underground in this game too. Something that I'm not used to in like theme park builders like this is uh, it, you can go directly underground. And I mean, it's going to cost you some money, but uh, I feel like it's been more complicated in the past in, in other games. Okay, so uh, there's also a better way to do this. You can go like this. Um... That probably is a much better way. So I guess we'll do something like this. We'll have it level off, and it, yeah, we'll level we'll level it off level it off from there. And uh, we're gonna need to make a a much more wider turn because I'm I'm sure we've got some speed coming around this corner like this. Can we have it go up at the same time? Oh, uh, we cannot. Okay, that's fine. Just wondering. I was just I was just curious. So we'll build this. We'll have a, we'll go maybe maybe up like a little. We'll go up a bit. Maybe there, and then have it come back down and do like a little spin. Uh, that might be a little bit too fast. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Now, I think we're going to be okay. Can Oh, I can do that. Oh, okay, good. I can do that. But the thing is, am I going to be running into this? Yes, I am. Okay, so that's fine. We can back up and erase that one. Maybe we should. Uh, maybe we should turn this way. Maybe we should turn right. Oh, it's looking ugly already, Drew. You're messing up, man. You're messing up. All right, so the, we'll just we'll just bulldoze the bulldoze this, bulldoze that. Have it go straight up from there, builds, and then we'll turn right like that. Okay, and we'll start kind of doubling back around towards the end of the coaster's uh, life here. Life, I guess. The, I guess the end of the coaster is path. I don't know about life if that's the correct term. So yeah, here we go. We can go underground again. This is kind of becoming a little bit expensive, but I want it to be fun. That's the thing. It's very, very important that it's fun and it's got like a high excitement value. And uh, you know, I don't want them to. I don't want it to be too nauseous. I, I don't want it to be too nauseating. Uh, that is going to be a problem if it is, and it might be. Um, maybe we'll keep it there. Maybe we'll have a do. Yeah, we'll do something like that. We'll do like a sharp, sharp turn. And 
Uh, we'll, we'll probably have to finish this one after we come back, but I'm probably going to have to stop it right there. So we got something going. We've got something going. It's not going to be the best coaster. Trust me, it won't be the best coaster, but I'm hoping it kind of gets our park off the ground and we get to start with at least more than just four guests at some point. But uh, anyways, we got a lot of work to do. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow.